Time to head out to chapter four, I think it is. Yeah, I think we did chapter three, which was hostility. We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a divine dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. I can? Indeed. Furthermore, one can only enter the Somniel with a divine dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one. But don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings, just as you asked. And then, I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are, safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm, a piece of jewelry. I don't recognize it. The crystal looks unusual. Where did you get this? On the ground, in the ring vault, after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait. It's familiar, somehow. Even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Has the same Scott color scheme as his Once hair. We've rested for a bit, let's set out for Firne. Are we ready? Look at that! The little loading screen is actually slowly uh, filling in with all of our allies. That's going to be so cool. I'm actually excited to see how the Somniel... The Somniel is your base. Use the area to prepare for your next battle and interact with your allies. Additional activities and areas of the Somniel will unlock, unlock as you progress through the story. Open the world map to continue your adventure. Access it from the menu or by using the exit in the plaza. Interesting. Let's talk to everyone. You know, Queen Lumera said emblems can roam, can roam, uh, yeah, can roam here more freely due to the divine dragon's power. Oh, cool. Yes. How about you. The pain of losing Lumera runs deep, yet the familiarity of a Somniel is comforting. We have uh, ah. Boucheron. So the Somniel has pawns and orchard, uh, orchards, huh? I should check them, uh, check them out if I don't get lost first. Is it really that big? Oh, we can give him stuff? Interesting. Whoa, wait, hold up. Menu. Uh, storehouse reference. Ally notebook. Class Axfire, May 11th, birthday. Uh, Royal Knight of Fer Firen Fereni F <laughs> Firen, I forgot how it's pronounced. He arrived at Lithos Castle at the end on the night it was attacked, along with Prince Alfred and his fellow retainer Edie. Eshie, something like that. Alright. So we have a lot of, like, a whole new area here. Bunch of new things. Cafe Terrace is now open. Ooh, okay. Cafe Terrace is a relaxing communal space with points with access points to other facilities. Use the music box to change the background music on the Somniel. 
The bulletin board is full of useful information. You can use you can use it to invest in Elios or check on your achievements. Invest in Elios. What? What is that? Okay, so we have no songs. Uh, I want to see the bulletin board. Where do those doors take us to? Here it is, donations. If you support countries enough to raise their donation levels, they will reward you with gifts. With a high donation level, a country will have more rare monsters that you can earn. Uh, that you can earn bonus gold or experience for defeating. A high donation level also means you will find more materials while exploring in that country, among other things. There's a lot of things you can do here. 5,000 gold for... Oh, we can donate to Firene. Firene, Firene. <laughs> God damn it. And we could donate 100, 1,000, or uh, to next level. But right now, how much gold do we even have? I have zero gold. Okay. <laughs> I have nothing. Cool. Consult the Somniel map to view the status of its facilities and see where your allies are. You can select the location to fast travel there. Okay, cool. And then finally, we have room, my room, cafe, terrace, plaza. That's where Marth, Sigurd, and Bushran are. We already fought them, uh, talked to them. Poolside, Orchard. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh my god, there's so many areas. Can we actually go to all of these places? We can already? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go back to the center. And, uh... Yeah, let's go back to the cafe terrace. And let's slowly investigate from there. Well, we can spend some time here. I mean, we just we just found this area, so... I'm fine to put in some time to... Learn more about the Somniel and see what exactly this area, this entire area has to offer. This is your room, the sacred place where Kip slept for thousands of years. For a thousand years, uh, yeah. Select rest to take a nap and advance time on the Somniel. You may hear some interesting things while resting. Wear headphones for the best sound. Select, rem select reminisce to view past support conversations and scenes again. You can lower the game's difficulty by selecting difficulty setting. You cannot raise the difficulty this way, however. Oh, so we can lower the difficulty, but we can't raise it? That's interesting. Looks like something important belongs here. Memento drawer. All right, so we do reminisce. Support. What is this? Is how good he is at supporting people? I'm confused. Uh, Bond. Vander. This is interesting. Okay. Wake up events. What are these things? <laughs> Movies. The past battle. Okay. So these are, I guess these are all the cutscenes we've had so far. Lumera's a, yeah. And we click on one. It just re okay cool. That makes sense. Uh, music. Oh. Cool. And difficulty setting. Um, we can't change it from normal because <laughs> we have it on the lowest setting. That's okay though. I uh, as I've never played this game, I think it's uh, fine normal. Although the first two, granted, it is it was only our second fight, the the one at the where Lumera died. Um, actually, I, I would say that was honestly our first real fight. Uh, I feel like it was really easy, but it was our only our first one. So maybe it'll it'll increase in difficulty. I've heard that Fire Emblem isn't really a game known for like being too easy. So hopefully. You know, as we progress through these levels and as we progress through the story, uh, it'll pick up and challenge a bit, even though we are playing in normal. I don't want to play in the higher difficulties just yet, uh, just because I, I don't want to. I want to get the hang of this so that I don't lose any characters. All right. So, oh, wait. Yeah, let's have this up. Actually. Um, 
What's over here? Why is there a door over here? What are you? Arena. Oh, it's locked for now. So, the... Oh, no, it's training yard that we have access to right now. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's head on over here. And this... Oh, this is the arena, too. It's still locked. So, we can't go in there. We can, maybe, ring chamber. We can't go in here, either. Okay, so where can we go? Uh, we can go to the plaza. No, we were... Okay, we've checked out these three places. We can go to the pool side. Let's check out this area. This place is pretty. Nothing much going on here. Just a pool. Can we go inside of it? We cannot. And nobody's here. At least not right now. I guess once we gain... Once again, once we gain more... More allies. We'll probably get some more stuff going on here i want to increase the, those like affinity levels with all of our allies so definitely going to try to do all the gifting and all that stuff uh just because i feel i th i guess we'll probably unlock like cutscenes and stuff looks like we might have something that appears here later maybe like a garden or something we have somebody back here oh is this where the orchard is look at that if I may. Yeah, Von Bender. Those clothes suit you well, Divine One. I too find it easier to relax in everyday attire. And then we can set, give him something, but I don't know what he would like. So. I think uh, there's supposed to be like hints, right? As to like what different characters uh, like as items that they can be gifted, right? Or is there only one item that each character likes or can it change? Not fully sure. But this guy did say something, but like he likes, you know, not regular attire. Uh, Bouchero, I think Bouchero is what his name is. Bouchero said he wanted to visit the Orchard. So I'm willing to bet that <clears throat> that Bouchero would want something from the Orchard. <clears throat> we have a bunch of Bond Fragments. Uh, it looks like on the, on the map we can actually see where there's items. Then we have a shrine with uh, nothing here. More items. We have one back here. What do you have? Wheat flour. Okay. And then... Huh. What is over here? What area is this? We have pets here. Pretty pebble. Oh, that's a giftable item. What was this? Stable. Ooh. Milk. And what else can we get? Eggs. Cool. Dude, are we going to have chicken? Oh my god, please tell me we can have chickens here. I would love to have chickens. That would be so cool. And there's a little area that we've already been to. This is this was the entrance to the arena, if I remember. Oh, that was a lantern. I thought that was an item. Yeah, arena. And nothing here. There's another person back here, though. Oh, this is where she is. Oh, it's you. Are you oh. Am I underdressed for Somniel? I feel like I don't belong here, but I'll help however I can. And we can give her a round, smooth rockling. I feel like she would like a pretty pebble, right? Thanks. Cool. I'd happily accept a gift the divine... Any gift the divine dragon picked out for me. Cool. And uh, anything around here? Not really. Oh, we have some, like, little areas here that look like there'll be stuff that are added in here later, but just not at the moment. Okay. There is, uh, one person we still haven't spoken to, I think. Yeah, we, we spoke to those three, Marth, Sigurd, and them. Alfred, Fram, and Clan. We haven't... Yeah, because we haven't even visited the Orchard. How do we... How were we supposed to get here? Let's see. I just want to make sure. There is a lot of people here. Alfred's here. Can't deny it's daunting to come here, no matter how often I do it. But I'm glad you're with me. We have nothing for him. And we have another item here. 
A <laughs> horse manure? Dude, what? Can we give that to Fram? Queen Lumera does stand at the edge of Somniel and look down on the pretty clouds. Dude, oh my god. Ordinary horse manure, that, that's it. You could technically give it to someone, but why would you? I want to give it to her. Whoa. I absolutely adore everything. Give me a divine one. Oh, wow. This is <laughs> stinky. <laughs> yeah, she... <laughs> Come on, man. You do not have to act like you like that. That was funny. Okay. Um. Alright, let's go into the actual orchard. Apple. Uh, I guess we can't give that to... And grapes. Yes. Clan, the Samuel might seem quiet, but I'm sure it's going to get pretty lively. Plus, we're here. Ah, uh, we can't give him anything. Okay. So, can we... Oh, here we go. Let's go inside. Nuts. So, can we not give, like, apples and grapes to people? I guess not, maybe. But we do have pretty pebbles. Oh, no. That was a nut. I guess there's going to be more stuff. Horse manure has to have a use at some point, right? Ah. Uh, okay, no gift. So I think we've spoken to everyone now. So now let's go and check the ally notebook. Uh, reference. Ally notebook. Let's see everyone. We have Vander, Paladin, November 26th. 32nd steward of the king watches over Kip, who falls asleep on floating island, the Somniel. We have Clan... A mage, March 10th, Fram's twin, 33rd steward of the dragon following in Vander's footsteps, was present when Divine Dragon Kip awoke, and Fram, Martial Monk, Clan's twin, 33rd, 33rd steward of the dragon following in Vander's footsteps, was present when Divine Dragon Kip awoke. They have little, little badges that show what they are, it looks like. Alfred, he's a noble, crown prince of Firene. <laughs> Irene. He arrived at Litho's castle. Oh, yeah, we already had his. Uh, along with retainers Bushron and Etia. Oh, no, we, this was what Bushron said. Etia, archer, October 1st, royal knight of Firene. She arrived at Litho's castle at the night it was attacked. Along with Prince Alfred and her fellow retainer Bushron. Axe fighter, May 11th, Bushron. We already read this one. He arrived at the night that it was attacked. And then we have Vander, paladin. Oh, we already saw this one too. We have another. Oh, oh, the the bookmark at the top shows like I think that's which kingdom they're from, right? I think so. Cycle countries. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's cool. We could also cycle allies. A uh, zoom portrait. Nice. And uh, list. Oh, cool. A ring reference. What's this? Avo. Oh, wow. Oh, these are what we get at the different levels. Cool. We're currently at level 3, I think. No, are we on level 4? Uh, What level does it say we are? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's fine. Um, and then we have him. World Hero Knight. Cool. And finally, we have Bond. Oh, okay. So these are probably like Bonds grow and stuff as you use them. Somnial map. All right, let's just save. And then we can head out. So I think I, I want to say I I've gone through everything. Poolside. We have the orchard, the pond, training yard farmyard grotto i think i was there lookout ridge yeah that's where vander was tower of try oh we haven't gone there let's go here i mean we were there but like we didn't try entering yeah but it's locked let's try just taking the normal route back i think i wonder i don't think the large version of the map shows anything um let's go in And I want to, where is that grotto area? Here we go. Let's just go here. 
Oh, this is this is the grotto. Okay. It's pretty. Alright, let's go back to the plaza then. We've spoken to everyone. We've collected items. I think it's time we go on to the to our next chapter. And probably our next fight. I want to say it's probably our next battle. So we we took a look at everything that's in the Somnial, and we can do one more battle, probably. Here we are, the Kingdom of Firinae. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip. Crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for twisting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to. Let's see. Firne is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. It's ruled by my mother, Queen Eb. We're known as a uh, land of plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm, the Queendom of Freedom, and Brodia, the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Firenae. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king is an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Elugia to expand his own territory. I take it Elugia isn't in the alliance. No. Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Elugians worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Elugia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Firene? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Firene, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. Why am I connecting? That's strange. Oh, no. The corrupted. They're everywhere. There's so many of them. What are those yellow yes, spots? I see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine one, will you help me? Of course. We have some allies there too. Oh cool, we're going to get more allies. From every side. I fear we will never make Look it to them. my mother. Princess Sailing. I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. Princess Sailing has a huge dress. Way. Hurry! Louis! Chloe! You can't possibly expect me to. It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line hmm. for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I can see the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with her dress, man. It's so large. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with her highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. 
sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes. Let's. More allies. Let's go. So I wonder if, like, once we start getting, like, a ton of members, before you begin the battle, you can manage your items, emblem rings, and te the team of allies who will join you. Once your preparations are complete, select fight to begin. Oh, okay. Unit selection. Use unit selection to choose which allies will join you in combat. Press A to toggle on and off. Allies held in green cannot be excluded. Each map has a set number of allies who can join the fray. Oh. So right now, all seven of them can join us, so that's fine. Emblem rings. Select emblem rings to partner your allies with emblems. Once partnered, an ally can sync with an emblem in battle. To pair an ally with an emblem, select an ally followed by an emblem ring. Oh, cool. So I guess we'll keep Kip and Marth. I guess I'll give Vander Sigurd, since Vander was... See, it was like uh, one of the stewards for Lumera. I feel like Vander would be the best person to have. Huh, interesting. To have Sigurd. I'm trying to see, like, if, is there anything that, like, Sigurd's bonds, uh, bond rings. If there's, like, anything that means, like... An emblem would be best with a certain a certain character. I guess not. Kip is currently okay. Yeah. Alright. So we can have multi uh, different people with different emblems. Inventory. Select inventory to choose weapons and items that you will use in battle. Organize your allies equipment using managed items. Units can trade items with convoy or other allies. Try to make automatically outfit your allies from the convoy. Select optimize equipment. Quickly return. Uh, return a given allies held item to the convoy with store all. Okay. Oh, you can trade. Oh. So you get to put those, put that there. Oh, cool. Okay. We're gonna keep keep everything as is. Uh, manage items. Swap. Uh, with what like something that's inside oh you can swap it with somebody else's items isn't that the same as trade why does trade exist if we could just do it here whatever we'll store one um and then oh and then we could just like grab an item from back here okay cool you have store all trade okay cool swap spaces you can swap allies' positions before starting. Select the ally you want to move with A. Select another ally with A. Swap their position. Some allies cannot be moved. Use this time to check the terrain information and enemy stat cursors. Uh, can we... No, we can't swap him with him, but we can swap with him. Okay. Nice. In that case, let's put the... Let's put this guy... There you go, at the back. Since, uh, since the two horses are going to have the highest range of movement anyways reference okay so you can check uh supports between each other ally notebooks ring reference cool and save system and all that stuff all right i think we're ready i just want to check out what everything did Oh, Celine just comes right Celine? in. What are you doing here? Celine. I thought you were with Mother. I was, but Alfred, the Illusion army is marching on the castle. What? Wait, it's Illusia? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Port. Oh no. Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please, we must hurry back to them. Absolutely. So the illusions actually are evil. But do you have the emblem ring? Yes, mother gave it to me. Why do you? Goodness gracious! The divine dragon? You're here! You're awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The emblem ring is right here. Please, divine one, it is yours. <sighs> the words. They're coming to me. Care for us. Emblem of Echoes. 
Would you look at that? We just got our third emblem. Oh, she looks cool. She actually looks sick. What does she do? I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. That's cute. What did... I want to see. Yes, mother gave it to me. Oh, Saline's mother. Okay. That's just what I wanted Thank to check. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinay's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Saline. Let's go. We have eight people now. I won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. Oh, that's scary. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Oh, Good that's idea. smart. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave oh, the what? mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Hmm. But armored units is now a guide. What? All right, let's go. How can we check their resistances? Oh God, there you go. If you head into battle while connected to the network, spirits representing other players' past battles may appear on the map. Oh, yellow spirits appear where many allied units have fallen. Earn EXP and bond EXP by waiting in their spaces. Purple spirits appear where many foes have fallen. Have fallen. Wait in these spaces to pick up the items that they left behind. That is interesting. Oh, <laughs> that's so wild. Okay, that's that's an interesting way to put that put that in. So it looks like people have actually died in this spot against this guy. Can we put Bushra on there? Uh, what's going on? Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted don't get oh, in. Oh, okay. If you visit houses to warn them off of danger, you may receive items or gold as a reward. To visit, uh, to visit, move an ally to the lit space in front of the house and select visit. Watch out, foes may try to reach houses before you and destroy them. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, can you reach? Oh, you can go far. Okay. I'm ready for more. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna attack this guy. There we go. And he's broken. Perfect. And we are going to send this guy in this direction. Uh, I think... Wait, what's going on? Oh, yeah, we can engage. Yeah, let's do that. Lend me your strength. There we go. And now we can... Just do a normal attack. Oh, he looks sick, dude. Look at his wings. Okay, that sucks. We could have changed our weapon, actually, but that's fine. I think we... Yeah, we have a lance right now. That's fine. Oh, we can continue to move? Oh, you know what? Oh, but he can't do anything. Okay, so let's just go back there. Actually, let's, let's have him wait here. That way... Uh, who... Uh, that's not really useful. I do, mm, Me? I'm going to have her do her thing up here and visit. What's that? Monsters here? Gosh, all, thanks for letting me know. Take this. Might come in useful. There we go. We got a javelin. Okay. That's, you, that's good. And we have an archer here, but yeah, let's go with her. Celica, it is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, Aww. we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. Emblem Celica wields powerful magic attacks. She is a valuable asset against corrupted foes. 
The sync skill holy stance reflects some of the damage received from corrupted foes against the attacker. The engaged weapon seraphim deals bonus damage to corrupted foes. The engaged wait, the engaged weapon seraphim deals bonus damage to corrupted. The engaged skill echo allows a unit to initiate combat twice using a tome at a cost of 50% damage. Oh. Cool. The engaged attack warp what? The Engage Attack Warp Ragnarok teleports the user to a space near a distant enemy and attacks with powerful magic. That is so cool. With Selica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. Okay. Uh, but let's not engage yet. Let's have her finish off. Actually? No, let's engage. Yeah, screw it. Well, actually... Not yet. Let's not attack with her yet. What I do want to do first is attack with this guy. There we go. Did not that 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 went that went great. He did a lot of damage, and he was still level one. God damn! It's a lot better than I expected. Uh, is there anybody up here? There's a few people, so we're gonna leave. I've got this. We're going to have uh, these guys travel up here together and just wait. I'm ready. Yeah. We'll have you wait right here. And Whatever you, you are going to go down here and attack this guy. Let me help. There we go. <laughs> we got the we got the chain attack, which was nice. Now let's engage. Yeah. And we can warp Ragnarok. I feel a great power within. That's so cool. We have united, haven't we? My resolve is strong. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. I love these these fusion looks. They look so sick. Alright, we can warp Ragnarok. I to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way. And we can choose spots to warp to. Uh, but I don't know where I want to warp to yet. Actually, mm, let's not let's not attack with her yet. We let's attack with these two first. So this guy is a mage, is an archer, and this guy can't. Oh. Understood. Interesting. He could just come up here like that. Okay, so he can... He can take out this... Oh, that doesn't fully take him out, though. I wish it would one-shot, but it doesn't. He one-shots? He takes out the mage, though. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> this this kind of sucks. This is not a great position. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Because he can get attacked by the archer. What about you? Do you one-shot this guy? You do. Okay. Oh, God. Stop. It's too sensitive, man. There we go. There you go. Let's attack from here. And javelin goes up. Ulnary. Hit goes down. Physical attack goes up. But like, is it worth it? I feel like it's not. All right, let's take him out. Let's take out the mage. And oh, okay, there we go. All right, now we should be pretty safe. Yeah, to go in with this guy because he should still be able to. Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. There we go. We that was great. Okay. All right, and now we can we can do our warp echo here. For peace. Yeah, let's do engage. And warp or warp Ragnarok, not echo. And uh, let's go here. Yeah, let's go here and take out that dude. Okay. Yo! 
Oh, this is a great attack. That was so strong. He took him out. Demolished that dude, man. Alright, this guy should be taken out by this fight. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. But he's dead. So that's good. That guy's gonna attack, but we should be totally fine. And they missed too, which is perfect. Oh, they just died from that. Cool. Saline gets so strong. Okay. What? Oh, okay. I was a little bit scared. I was like, no. The crystal. It's glowing. What's going on with the crystal? Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Lethos Castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. There is a limit to its power, but still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. The Draconic Time Crystal is now available. What does it do? You can use the Draconic Time Crystal to rewind and retry actions you take in battle. Select the Time Crystal from the menu. Use up and down to select how far back you would like to go. Cool. Let's see. Let's check it out. Uh... Items. It's not there. How do we... Hmm. Uh, oh, wait. That's cool. We could just engage with plus. Um, how do we look at the conic time crystal thing? Oh, there we go. Time crystal. That is uh, kind of cool. Oh, but it's only from... Okay. It's only from, I guess, from that actual, well, what do you call this it, from the actual phase that we can do. All right, so wait here. We got a slim sword. That's pretty good. You can heal. So let's uh, heal you. Yeah, heal this dude. Thank you. And I want to see what Sigurd's attack is so you can override attack and move Ooh. okay that's override Raise your sword. <laughs> oh oh that's great yo dude got destroyed wait is override like okay I'm just realizing is this um Let's put him all the way up here and just wait there. Seems like the rest of these guys, some of them aren't going to have too much to do at this point. Let's just wait here. You, I'm going to have you attack. That way, you know, take him out from a distance and we'll be fine. Wait, what? Just threw an axe at. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> they can launch an axe at us? That sucks. Oh, we got a hand axe, though. That was cool. Uh, okay. I do want you. You can, you can take him out. But I want you to come up here and grab whatever's in here. We got bond fragments. That was cool. And I want you to finish off this. This corrupted. It looks like if we attack while while we're in that space, we don't actually get the item. Like the EXP and such. You actually have to wait on the spot. No, we did get it. Okay, we got 10 bond fragments because we, we attacked from that spot. So we're chilling. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, attack two separate times. Seraphim. Our mage attack goes up, but our hit goes down. Does that mean we just hit, like, less times? Like, I don't know. Holy Tome effective wielded. K 
Can we attack from, from a range? I think we can. So we can go here and then attack from here. I'm um, attack with Seraphim. Yeah, there we go. That way we can get whatever item is there too. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. All right, we're chilling. Oh, our bond went up. I'm also not still not fully sure. We got magic plus three. So not sure what the uh, echo does yet, but that's fine. Okay. We're, we don't have too many enemies left. I think we're good for the most part. And I think we've gotten all the items that we can and alerted all the houses. Oh, this guy. These two are still left. Okay. Let's go up here with you. Actually, no. Let's put him up first because he can't move as much. I'm going to wait here. And put this guy right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Right here. I need to check out what Self Improver actually does. Yeah, dude, look at this guy. Holy crap. There is nothing to fear. Dude, Vander is so strong. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, she came to fight her. Okay. Not great idea. Yo. She one shot his ass. Oh, she she might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh not too much. No, she okay. Dude, everyone's attacking twice. They're they're all getting taken out in one turn. It's crazy. Alright. Uh we're gonna do this and just bring him out over here, because why not? Uh we're gonna put her up here. Nah, I only want one person to attack her, not two. We'll have her wait right there. Is it go time? And her... Nah, she has to... No, yeah, she can wait right here. And then this guy too, probably, right? Yeah. So how do we set some of these guys to auto battle? I would like to set... Ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's bring this guy over. Wait. Then the rest of these guys, we can kind of just tell them to, I don't know, just chill, I guess. But I would like to... Hmm. We could chain guard probably to boost their... At the very I'm least, boost set. their bond. I don't know if it does. We just have them wait. Yeah, because these guys aren't going to make it to them anyways. Set an overall strategy and let advance. Yeah, that's that's fine. For the rest of them. And then this these guys should be fine. Okay. Oh my god. She absolutely destroys them. She's already level 6. She's way higher level than all the rest of our people. I'm in wary of excessive happenings, but I shall allow myself the exception this time. Alright, now I think it's time. What, there's more? The people we've been fighting so far weren't corrupted. Enemies sometimes call in reinforcements during battles. Reinforcements often arrive from forts or the edges of the map, so be on your guard. Okay, that's good to know. Uh... Unfortunately, none of these people are going to be able to reach them. So that sucks. Uh, she can fight him, obviously. But he also can do that. What we could do... Will you survive this fight? Oh my god. What? Okay. What about if you went to attack him? Okay, you would almost kill him. But I feel like that's not a great idea. So, they can chat with each other? That's weird. That's actually interesting. Ah, oh, crap. That's we're not in a great spot. Actually, this might work. Yeah. Okay. So let's go here. 
Uh, let's fight him. This is gonna hurt. So never mind. So I guess let's just wait. Yeah, and let's attack this guy. Uh, yeah, with fire. Attack that dude. Go straight through his through shields. There we go. I will not forget your loss. And then a lot of us are here to fight this guy. And since we're shielded, I think we're we're good to attack him. Yeah, no damage, that was great. Uh, and then everyone else can just kind of advance. Uh, except for this guy. We don't want him. Oh, yeah. No, he can. He can come here. And then everyone else uh, just advance. Since they are currently pretty far. Oh, that's not good. Please don't kill her. Oh, thank God. Damn. That's why. She does no damage to him. They actually... <laughs> they're trying to end her right now. Okay. So we might want to use magic against that dude. Is what it looks like. Because obviously, she can't do damage against him. Uh, so let's put her here. Wait, let's go here. So she can talk. Sure. Chloe, I am relieved to see you're all right. You too, Princess Saline. <laughs> I was able to find Alfred and the Divine Dragon, no less. After that, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from within my brain. Oh. A noble dragon summoning ancient spirits to save the day. That sounds just like a fairy tale. It does. Now that I have this power, let's give this story a happy ending, shall we? Let's do it. So that's cute. They can just chat with each other to, uh... To, uh, I don't know, gain... It looks like gain bond points. Oh, she does so much damage to him, but I also want to finish off. Hmm. How about you? How much damage do you do to, to this guy? It's also nothing. Even What about with Lodestar Rush and a Fire Rapier? Oh, okay, Lodestar Rush does a ton of damage to him. Okay, we're good. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have him talk to her so again we can get some more bond points princess Saley, how relieved i am to see you unharmed hmm? you seem different the divine dragon brought emblem celica forth from my ring i am imbued with her strength pardon the divine dragon is here indeed i will explain everything later for now let us restore order here I promise I will never leave you behind again. Come, let us fight together. As you wish. Princess Saline and Emblem Celica. What a pair. Cool. And he can still attack? Nice, okay. Uh, that being said... Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, so... He hits him, but... That doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters a little bit. Well, actually. Huh. Can we attack him? For oh, we cannot. All right. We're going to trap him in. Uh, but we're going to... Yeah. We're going to attack him. Oh, wait. No, that was a bad idea. Oh, no. He's going to hit back. I didn't check how much damage he did back. Oh, that's a lot. That's so much. That did way too much. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. 
That's not good, man. Cause now the other the one up here can kill our dude. And uh we don't exactly have Oh crap. Unless no, he can't make it all the way over there. And this guy can't attack. Oh, he can attack from here. Okay, cool. So you can take that guy out. And then we'll take out the, the leader with I will defend with Kip. Alright, cool. We're fine. Lance power. Cool. But Evo minus 10. We'll wait here. Why not? And there we go. That should take him out. And that does it. We didn't manage to get the final two like items that were up top, but that's fine. If they given me real soldiers. So why is Illusia working with the Fell Dragon? That's my question. Evo plus ten, let's go. Or was that fifteen? I didn't see. Celine and Celica. So we actually, we almost lost Aileen there. That could have been our first actual loss of a character. That would have sucked. A land in bloom. Yeah, let's save. Wait, who's this? Are we going to get another new ally? <gasps> oh my god. Who is she? There's She's no so cute. To be afraid. It's gone. You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Perhaps we should escort her home or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? Huh? She's gone. No, I thought she was going to join our group. Why'd she leave? Vale, where'd you go? Divine one. Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small, with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firinay's request for aid, and your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up, and the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Celine? Friends? I would be honored.
You can adopt animals you encounter while exploring, exploring and bring them back to the Somniel. After you adopt them, you can let your animals graze in the farmyard. They may even drop goods and ingredients that you can use. If you donate to, to countries using the bulletin board, you'll be able to adopt more animals. What? That's so cute! As allies fight next to each other, uh, next to each other or heal each other, they gain support points and eventually unlock support conversations. You can view support conversations on the Somniel or world map to increase the support level between characters. You can view support conversations on the Somniel or world map. Okay. Units with support levels gain stat bonuses when standing adjacent to one another. Cool. So let's talk to everyone. Let's uh, first gather our items and I guess let's adopt some, some animals. Can we, can we take this mule with us? Oh, we can't. Oh, you can't adopt this mere donkey because you don't know how to raise it. See the donation section of bulletin board at Cafe Terrace to learn more. God damn it. I want it. Give me the donkey. We got some more bond fragments. I'm not sure what to do with those yet. There's a lot of... We got some eggs. Do we know how to raise some, like... I don't know. Some Oh, wow. There's a lot going on here. Okay, I guess we'll, let's talk to everyone in the next one, because this episode's getting a little bit long, and it seems there's going to be a lot more to do in this little town. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.